Hello everybody, my name is Curious Corduroy. If you haven't watched any of my videos before, I make videos, all kinds of videos, and I put them on the internet. Uh, recently I kind of wanted to start talking about life experiences, and one of the ones that I want to talk about was growing up fat. Or growing up overweight, whatever you want to call it. Growing up, I was heavily overweight. Even as a baby, I think I tipped the scales uh, to what was actually normal. I don't remember how much I weighed or how long I was, um, but I've always been a big kid. I was always um, off the charts, I guess is how the, the doctors would describe it. Because you're supposed to be on a certain weight level uh, for certain ages. And I was always past my weight level of what I was supposed to be. So growing up, I was really, really fat. Uh, my face was huge. It was super... I need to fix my Tegan and Sarah hat. Uh, my face was really round. My cheeks were freaking huge. My stomach was big. I had fat everywhere. I was fat. I was a fat kid. If I can find a photo, I'll put it in here and you guys can see it which is embarrassing. I, growing up, it's overweight is an awful thing. But I remember tipping the scales. My heaviest weight was 225. I don't remember how old I was when I was 225, but I do remember being 11 years old and weighing 180 pounds. So try and imagine an 11 year old who weighs 180 pounds. It's tough. But growing up, I hit puberty before everybody else did in my schools and my classes. I was taller than everybody else, I was fatter than everybody else, I had acne before everybody else. It was bad. Which really takes a toll on your self-esteem, especially as a kid when people just kind of make fun of you or don't want to be around you because of the way you look. It can start to warp your perception on a lot of things. And my self-esteem has never been good since. <laughs> I always say it's non-existent. But growing up overweight is rough because Eventually, it starts to take a toll on your body physically. Your joints might start to hurt. You might feel sick all the time. It's not a fun thing to deal with. So I believe I, when I was 12, 11 or 12, I decided to make a change. Even then, at 11 and 12 years old, I knew looking in the mirror, I did not like what I saw. And I was not happy with what I was or who I was. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a change. So I remember actually being conscious of my health for the first time around that age and I started to try and eat better. I started to eat less. Um, Cause when I was a kid, I didn't really know any better. I thought, oh, there's a lot of food here. I'm gonna eat it because I'm hungry. I'm gonna have a Twinkie or I'm gonna eat like two Twinkies and be fine. Or I'm gonna drink a soda, you know? And I don't think any kid really knows better. You just, you like food, you like what tastes good and you wanna eat a lot of it. Uh, you, would, you don't realize that there's gonna be consequences afterwards. I remember one thing I used to do a lot was, I grew up a huge Backstreet Boys fan. All right. And I'm still a Backstreet Boys fan. And I remember learning a lot of their choreography growing up. But I would take their concert tapes and I would put them on and I would memorize the choreography and I would dance along with the Backstreet Boys as like my form of cardio growing up. So I would dance along to that. I would dance to music just playing in the house. I remember one summer I got DDR on PlayStation 2. I don't remember which one it was, but I remember playing that for hours and hours every day and just sweating and sweating and sweating, but having fun too. Uh, so I didn't really realize at that time that I was working out. I was like, I'm playing a game, I'm sweating. I'm losing weight, those are results. Let's keep doing it. So as I got older, I became much more health conscious. You know, over the past years, I've learned to eat better. Uh, I've met a very good friend who has, you know, shine a huge light for me on vegetarian items and vegan items. She's a wonderful person. So she's really changed my perception on food and what's good and what's bad. And she's really opened my mind to a lot of healthier alternatives uh, that you can actually eat and enjoy and have fewer calories and actually feel better about yourself. Um, so I've been exercising since about 11 years old. I'm 25 years old now. I believe maybe in 2012? Might have been 2010 or 11. Somewhere around that time. I can't remember. I started to really, really take working out seriously. And I started doing P90X. And I've been doing P90X ever since. And I've done some of the other Beachbody programs. Again, this is not an ad placement. I'm not being paid by them. Although I would not mind it. Uh, I've done P90X. I've done Insanity, which is insane. Uh, so that in combination with gaining knowledge on how to eat properly, what not to eat, uh, discovering that I was lactose intolerant and being able to cut out a huge portion of dairy out of my diet. I don't drink a lot of soda, maybe once a week, maybe a few times a month at that. Uh, I drink a lot of water. I'm really big on protein shakes or meal replacement shakes that can, you know, not only replace a meal, but give you a, a good amount of vitamins and minerals that you need. Like Shakeology, if Shakeology was cheaper, I'd be on that shit all day, every day. I remember I took sample packets of Shakeology uh, for about 10 days. And those 10 days that I was on it, I felt fabulous. 
if it was cheaper, I would be buying it. But $130 a month for a bag of Shakeology is insane. So I'm not gonna be paying that much. Uh, I'm, I believe 180 right now. My lowest, I was 154 maybe a couple years ago. So I'm trying to find a healthy weight level for my age and my height. I'm trying to get in better shape, trying to get more muscular and stronger. It, for me, it's not about trying to look good because I'm never gonna look good. That's just how I'm born. I was born this way. I just wanna feel better. I wanna feel stronger. I don't wanna be tired. I wanna feel good physically. So that's my goal. That's my stretch. That's my aim. That's my story. Growing up overweight and eventually learning to kind of hopefully control it. I'm Curious Corduroy. I will see you guys in whatever video I do next.